Hey guys, it's Plax here, and I'm going to be doing a review gameplay commentary on the SR25. Um, this is not a normal SR25, this is the SR25 Mark 11 Navy. Now, um, I'm using the Azazel and also the SR25. I'm, well, this is supposed to be a review on the SR25. I'm sorry if I use the Azazel too much for your taste. Um, so we're on Snow Valley right now. Uh, I just got a decent ultra now. Um, I'm already 30-13, and the other team is clan stacking. The clan's name is Elusive. I can tell I'm going to be kicked very soon. But, yeah. Mm. The SR-25 is very different from the normal SR-25. Oh, well, the SR-25 Navy is different. But it has a much higher fire rate, and it has a total clip size of 50 plus 10 in the main clip, which is, yeah, which is a lot higher than normal now. I just got kicked from that room, which is, I expected, I mean, clan stackers, you know. Now, um, the SR-25 is, it's, like I said, it's, in my opinion, it's pretty overpowered. If, you you can't really move at all when you're sniping. If you move, your shots will go um, very off, but if you stand still or uh, crouch down and just click, 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 people usually die in front of you. It's uh, I I I like using it to warm up if I have if I'm having trouble aiming or uh, having a bad day or whatever just take it out and usually do good with it. Um, right now we're in Snow Valley again. I got kicked from the previous room, so I'm in the I'm in a different room. Uh, basically, I had the Azazel, the SR25, and I have about plus 25 percent speed right now. I have a G23 Chrome and a tracker knife, and I think I have one of the the black M69 HE fragnades. Um, as you can see, the SR25 has a very fast fire rate. Usually, I don't shoot that fast. I like to shoot, wait for it to go back down, and then shoot again because I don't like uh, fighting the recoil. But if they're close, I can just spam, and you can see it shoots pretty fast. And it is very accurate. It, it beats the L96 in terms of accuracy. Um, the damage is uh, it's 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 a two shot kill. You're never gonna one hit somebody unless they're lit, and you're probably never gonna three hit anybody unless they have spawn shield on it's steady two shot kill um there's not too much to say about this gun it's i i do i do like it don't get me wrong it's um it's just it's very straightforward it has a, a has a pretty fast reload speed and it has a clip size of 10 um yeah there's really not too much to say about it as you can yeah you can see there the reload speed is pretty quick um it has a decent appearance I guess I I like I always like black red I don't like the multi cam camo things that much but it yeah it works um it's of course it's semi only doesn't go doesn't go burst or anything like that uh it's I, I I'd say that pretty much anyone can pick it up and use it it's it's not hard at all you can see the recoil it goes down pretty quickly it doesn't it's, it doesn't have crazy recoil it's it just goes up down one swift motion um, yeah, this is also an Azazel review, I guess you'd call it, so I guess I'll branch that on here, too. Um, it's, it's an epic, it's an epic rare, actually. The epic version's the, uh, Azazel, Azazel, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, and this version's the, uh, Azazel Arrived, which is the epic rare version. You can't renew with the weapon crates. I have the, about 37 or 44 days of it, and, um, it's pretty much an M14 CQB, a little more damage, a little more portability. It's like a salt mod, I guess, with more damage and portability. Um, it's I I put a silencer on it because I don't like loud guns in general, but you know silencers are usually not very good. They lessen the damage by 10%, which you know it doesn't seem a lot, but it is quite a bit. Uh, the Azazel has a faster load speed. In in my in my opinion, the salt mod has a has a very slow reload. It just feels like that to me. Um, it might be because it has three actions, or I'm not sure, but doesn't feel very uh it feels very slow to me the salt mod i prefer the azazel over the salt mod it feels like the salt mods more easily tanked than the azazel um the g23 has a plus 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 fire rate um i like the g23 i have a lot of other pistols but i prefer the g23 over those uh not like again there's not too much to say about an anything here it's you know snow valley it's pretty easy to get a good kdr pretty easy to play here. The map's very easy to understand. Nothing tricky. Watch towers, watch bases, watch heads, shoot, learn learn where people come up. 
only hard part is when people come up in surprising places like I don't know little alleys or dark places some people camouflage into the walls uh, the SR, you, when, when you use the SR25 you might feel like it's uh, not accurate because your shots go off and off but the first shot that you shoot will always be very accurate it's just when you when you try doing things like rapid firing and then you feel like your shots are going off and the rifle's terrible uh, it's it, it's a good rifle it's accurate and I get kicked again. So, we're in a third game this time, and in this game I do not get kicked. But here we are, and say hi to YouTube, guys, and a shout out to, uh, Metevas, if, I, Metevas, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, and Fail Will, yes, YouTube is for nerds. But, um, yeah, pretty much playing here again. The guys at 1 HP. The SR25, as you can see, has pretty decent accuracy. Before, I was just spamming shots at him, scare him. Uh, but when you want to hit somebody, it's you pretty much can all the time. It has, as you can see, has a very swift up and down motion, which makes it pretty easy to use. Uh, if if you, if you like the G36 and you like tap firing, you'll you'll probably like this gun. But the only thing is, you can't walk like kill the G36. You can, you know, walk left and right, and your shots still go accurately if you tap fire. Uh, you'll need to stand completely still for this, unless you're extremely close. Um, yeah. If any of you guys are wondering how I, where you can get one of these rifles, I should have mentioned this earlier, but you can only get them right now in the uh, Mist Whiskey Supply Crates. They go for about 1.6 KNX for uh, this weekend up to, I think it is January 21st, 2013. Um, I have about, I don't know, like 95 days of it. I, ha I had a ton of crates open it up. Um, I got a Perm Scorpion PP19. Uh, that's another video though. But, yeah, just. If you, if I, I'd say this is a gun worth getting. We, we, I have no idea if it's going to come back, how it's going to come back, where it's going to be. You, you should, if you want one, you should probably get it now, renew it, or keep it in your inbox until you want to use it. But, it is definitely a gun worth having. It is. It is probably my favorite semi-automatic rifle. Uh, next line will probably be one of the muskets. They can sometimes one hit, but I'd still probably prefer this semi. But another thing is, if you, you might have seen earlier in this video, one of the other players had a um, M6A3 DMR. That would probably be my uh, that would pro that that has about the same damage as the SR25, but it has a much higher fire rate and it's more like a rifle. That's uh, very rare, though. I don't. That's actually the first person I've seen with one. But looking at the stats, it looks um, pretty good to me. Oh yeah, Bandman35 is a clan mate. Shout out to Bandman for getting lottoed. And then you can hear him yelling right now in Skype. But um, yeah, I'm nine and three. I'm doing decently. Bandman just left. There's not too much to say about any either of these guns. The Azazel's pretty much an F14 CQB. Uh, Baxter B A X S T A R has a very good reviews. He does an in-depth review on the uh, 416 CQB. You should definitely take a look at that if you're interested in the Azazel or anything like that. Uh, the SR25 is not really um, like a branch off. You know, same stats, just different color gun. That's pretty much only the uh, Azazel. SR25 is a major improvement over the normal one. I believe it has something around 20 more fire points and a few a uh, few more portability points, and I think a little more damage. I'm probably wrong on that, but uh, if when you're close up, you don't really want to use this gun. A lot of people like spamming semis in close range. Uh, it's not that fun. Doesn't work that well. You can do that, I guess. Y you can do that, I guess. If but don't no scope with this gun. It is not very accurate, even if you're standing still. Um, yeah, it's 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 a, it's a good gun. You, you'll 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 want to get it if uh, if you're planning on playing this game. You you probably want to keep it in your inventory or whatever. It's something it's something good to have. It's not one of those just uh, mess around guns or whatever. It's it's actually uh, pretty usable as you can see in this video. I I'm a I like one hit guns. I have M24 A3. I have an M24 A3 Woodland. I do not really like those guns as they don't always one hit and uh, they're they have great accuracy. They're they're good guns, but I I don't really like them. But this SR25, it's it's meant for two hits. It has a two hit almost anywhere. 
It's it has a very fast fire rate, extremely quick. If you use the normal SR25 and you like that, you'll love this. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and uh, enjoy. If you ever if you have any requests on uh, commentaries, gameplay, weapons, reviews, or whatever, I'll I'll see if I have one. I'll do a review on it. Um, peace.